Hi there, it's Elizabeth Pfeiffer from ElizabethPfeiffer.com and today we're talking about attachments, triggers, and personal responsibility for being responsible for your own integrity and how that all works energetically. So we did a post on Facebook about attachments and triggers and being in integrity and how when you're on social media, you kind of open yourself up to other people's projections, rejections, separations, and judgments. And what can happen is there is a trigger that immediately happens energetically. Now, your conscious mind um, isn't aware of what your energy is doing sometimes because we're all at different states of spiritual growth and evolution. And so even though we're telling ourselves, you know, we're not going to be attached to this other person's behavior and, you know, we're not going to do the judgment thing, what happens is your energy kind of like, yeah, but I am. <laughs> and it goes out and attaches to other people. And so what happens is if you see a post, for example, about somebody who says something or does something you don't like, right? It's like your energy kind of going out and latching onto it. And what happens is you get empathically hit by the energy that's coming back to you. You start to become irritated with that other person, frustrated, angry, you know, um, you're getting on your computer and you're typing in really crazily, like some, you know, non unsolicited statement of, you know, your opinion or your projection of that other person. That's a sign that you've kind of hooked in to that other person that you've projected onto them. And now that you're attached energetically to their behavior, to their um, level of consciousness, to, um, I'm trying to think of where other people, to um, acting, behaving, thinking, feeling, or being in a specific way. And once you get attached that way, it's like, empath city you will start feeling a bunch of negativity especially if you're energetically sensitive it like it comes channeling in through this cord like attachment that you've extended out and you start empathically feeling all of the anger irritation everything else that the other person is feeling which is not even yours uh, another example is uh, you might see people on Facebook who you know are flat out lying. <laughs> you know, maybe you worked with a person or you know the person and you know um, the truth behind their their post on Facebook and you go into, oh my gosh, she's so out of integrity. That's totally not true. I know that that's not happening. And what that is, is that's like sending out another cord uh, um, and being attached to somebody else being in integrity, okay? And so you can go around and say, I'm not doing that all day long. Um, but in truth, you really don't have an idea of what your energy is doing um, consciously, unless you're constantly tuning in and measuring and asking yourself, where am I attached? Am I attached? Am I responsible for my own integrity? Am I being responsible for my own behavior? Until you start asking those questions, your energy is just kind of doing its thing um, and not really paying much attention to um, what your conscious mind is doing. Because once you're energetically attached, you have to consciously or process it out of somebody else's field. So when you become attached, there is also an, a secondary component to that. And that secondary component is what we call personal responsibility. Being personally responsible, and we're talking energetics, okay? We're talking like here. We're not talking about in the physical dimension and what you're thinking. We're talking energetically here. Being personally responsible for your own energy, right? So instead of casting out all of those little attachments, you're being asked to be personally responsible for your own integrity, for your own behavior, for your own feelings, your own thoughts, for the own way that you be, and for the way that you present on social media. So if somebody bothers you on social media and you're attached to their behavior, it's an indication that you're giving responsibility to other people and projecting all of your garbage onto them to be and act in a certain way. And so what we need to do is real, those little attachments that you have 
back in, <laughs> like bring them back in because they're yours. It belongs to you. And what other people do is none of your business. And what they think about you is none of your business. And so when you are personally responsible for your own energy and you're only attached to your own behavior, to your own integrity, only attached to the way you present you, um, on social media and not worried about what other people are doing, then the empathic sensitivity level drops. Then you find yourself to be less triggered. People don't bother you anymore. Social media posts don't, you know, set you off. So you're like Kermit the Frog on your typewriter and <laughs> starting fights all over social media. Um, you become responsible and in integrity with your own energy, being attached to your own spiritual growth and evolution, nobody else's, it's not your job, your only job is to be responsible for you, be attached to you, and be attached to your own spiritual growth and evolution on you. Keep all of your little tentacles on you, and I promise you will have a much more gentle, easy, graceful experience when you connect with the mass consciousness. Thanks for joining. Talk to you soon.